Dylan White has pulled out of the Otto Wallen fight, which was scheduled to take place 10 days from now, and he is citing an apparent shoulder injury. Now, Dylan White has had issues with his shoulder in the past, but I've seen a lot of boxing fans online who are questioning the veracity of this particular claim, and they are saying that it's actually because of poor ticket sales that Dylan White has pulled out of the fight, and the shoulder injury is just a smokescreen. Now, I did see a screenshot that somebody posted in one of my Discord servers of a tweet and this tweet had a picture of the arena. You know, when you go to one of those ticket websites and you can choose what section you sit in and all that kind of stuff. It was one of those pictures and it appeared to show loads and loads and loads of empty seats still available for the Dylan White Otto Wallen fight when we're just 10 days away from when it was supposed to take place. So that's one bit of evidence that people are putting out, which may suggest that the shoulder injury is not legit and it's actually about poor ticket sales. And what I'll add to that is the undercard for this show was very weak by Dylan White's standards. Dylan White normally has very strong undercards. That's something he prides himself on. He likes the fact that he's given his fans value for money. But this undercard would have been the weakest Dylan White undercard I can remember, certainly since he became a pay-per-view fighter. And that would suggest that the show was on a very tight budget, which flies in the face of what Eddie Hearn's been saying about working with the zone. He's been saying that, or suggesting that the zone's budget is so much bigger than Sky's budget, and therefore he'll be able to put on fights which would have been pay-per-view on Sky just as part of your regular monthly subscription to the zone. Whereas if you look at that undercard for White Wallen, that is not the kind of undercard that he was putting on when Dylan White was on Sky. The undercards were much stronger than that. So it appears as though there was a bigger budget for Dylan White's Sky box office shows than there was for this particular White Wallen show. Now I have to shout out Clayton, again from one of my Discord servers, who mentioned the fact that this could be down to the fact that DAZN just simply don't have the reach that Sky do, they're not as established as a brand, and that could have been a major factor in why the tickets were not selling for this particular fight. Eddie Hearn has got some type of deal with the BBC to promote the zone shows on there. Maybe it still wasn't going well enough. Now, I don't know whether this shoulder injury is legit or not. I'm not making any judgment on it. What I can tell you is these things obviously do go on in boxing where people pull out for spurious reasons. Maybe they've got a uh, you know, bigger money fight lined up, a title shot or something. And in fact, there has been some suggestion that Dylan White is going to scrap the Otto Wallen fight altogether and instead head straight into a fight against Tyson Fury for the WBC World Heavyweight title. Why would he suddenly do that if it's not poor ticket sales? Well, he's apparently involved in this legal battle behind the scenes with the WBC. You could speculate that maybe some type of judgment came down in Dylan White's favor, and he thought, you know what? It looks like I can actually get this Tyson Fury fight now. No point risking anything against Otto Wallen. Let's just lock that fight in for 2022. So who knows? It's disappointing. I was actually looking forward to uh, White Wallen. Not going to happen, at least not for now. But if it means that he can go straight into a Tyson Fury fight, that's some consolation. Because that to me is even more interesting. I mean, don't get it twisted. I think Dylan White's got a much better chance of beating Otto Wallen than he's got against Tyson Fury, but just a clash of personalities would have been an interesting thing to see. And also, it'll be good to see Tyson Fury take on his mandatory, take on somebody <clears throat> in the top five, top 10 outside of Deontay Wilder. So you guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think that Dylan White's injury is legit? Or do you think it's a smoke screen for poor ticket sales? Or maybe he's done a deal for the Tyson Fury fight, etc. Drop it all in the comment section below.